Hi everybody, Wally Renee here from the Mod Institute. And the game has just changed for restoring implant uh, prosthetics. We have new, incredibly strong, biocompatible nanoceramic resins on the market. Combined with free software from True Abutment, my, one of the most innovative companies uh, of, our, of our time who has unleashed a gift upon the world of dentistry, the ability to make custom healers and custom abutments. You could send to them for finals. You could 3D print your own crowns. So let's just go through this workflow because it's one of the easiest workflows that you could do. And it's mostly team driven. And the software is only gonna get better because it has machine learning and, and AI. So the first thing that you need to do is take a digital impression. Um, doesn't matter what scanner you have as long as it's able to export STL file. And here we scan the soft tissue um, first, and now we're scanning the opposing. We're gonna go ahead and snag a bite. Okay, and now we're gonna put the scan body in. This is a true abutment scan body. They make these scan bodies for almost every implant um, on the planet, including some of the most locked down implants like Strauman and things like that. So you put the STL file into their free true suite this is their trust software, which is their abutment software. Merge the scan body. And again, um, all the manufacturers are on here. You have to use their scan body though. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna mark your soft tissue outline first. <clears throat> now, this software is designed for, for creating abutments and crowns, screw retained, cement retained, um, custom abutments. You could send to them to manufacture the final titanium abutment for under 200 bucks for sure and then you could 3D print your final crown. And that's what I've been doing um, if I'm going to go ahead and go with a final restoration. First though, we're gonna sculpt this tissue with a custom healer. The software lets you do that for free as well. Um, you're able to alter your subcritical contours um, and you're able to freeform pretty much every aspect of the abutment. The software is intuitive once you know how to use it and you get a little bit of a tutorial on it. I put a buckle notch so that I know what's buckle. Um, otherwise, I get turned around sometimes in the mouth, especially on a second molar where I can't really see that well back there. Um, now, this is a shallow placed implant, which means that I'm, you know, it's not the best case to demonstrate how to sculpt tissue for you guys because it's, I don't have a lot of uh, real estate to work with. But you guys could see you're able to adjust every aspect of the abutment. So now we're going to put this in our printer. In this case, we printed this out of Onyx on a sprint ray. And we're going to go ahead and screw that down direct to fixture here. And you can see how it looks in the mouth. This is the way it looks radiographically. You want to make sure your screw is centered into the implant. And um, Onyx is radiopaque, so you're able to see it and um, see that it's seated. Now, this is something that we teach uh, at our 3D printing A to Z course. Um, and it's, it's a workflow that we also teach final restorations on tie bases and custom abutments. What's cool is you could send this file to true abutment and then they could use that to actually create the final um, titanium abutment. Um, they'll of course extend that occlusally and add retention. And what's cool is they could design the crown for you as well and you could 3D print that or you could design the definitive right in that software. Um, and it's just changing uh, how I do these types of restorations. It's really fun. Tissue looks great after these things come out. It's been uh, a true joy to do these for my patients. I hope you guys are excited as I am about this because I think it's a game changer.